Hi, my name is Jordan, and I'm a recent graduate of LaSalle College. You ever have those days where you just can't imagine cooking? Well, have I got good news for you. What we're going to make today is a good meal, and you can make it once and have it last all throughout the week. It's very easy to make, and it's versatile because you can use different proteins and vegetables with the meal. Curious yet? Because we're making comforting coconut curry. Come on along for the ride. So for our vegetables, we're going to use a bouquet of broccoli, sugar snap peas, and marshmallows. One cup of broccoli is as much vitamin C as an orange. And they, have, they pack a whole lot of fiber. We're also going to use sugar snap peas for the crunch and they also have fiber. And the mushrooms have a nice textural breakup between the two. You could also use peppers, onions, or whatever vegetable you may have on hand. So you can use any protein you want. Today I'm going to use tofu. It's a very healthy vegetarian protein. You can also use about a pound of chicken or lamb or uh, anything that, that, that suits your booch. So the first step is to take care of the protein. You're going to chop whatever it is, your lamb, your chicken, or today's your tofu, into bite-sized pieces. And then uh, once that's all set, you're going to want to heat about a tablespoon of oil in a, uh, in a big old pig pen. And then add your curry powder to the oil. Give it a little tappy tap. You get your protein. And add that to the pan as well. And then you'll cook that mixture for about five minutes. Once your protein is cooked through, you are going to want to remove it from the pan, put it on a bowl or plate, and using the same pan, add your vegetables, garlic, and ginger. All right, so now you're going to add an entire can of light coconut milk. Coconut milk is good because it is, uh, it is healthy for folks who are lactose intolerant as well as it has vitamins A and C and some B vitamins. And it is cool and creamy, creamy dreamy. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of red curry paste. And these can act is very spicy, so if you don't like very spicy things, you can actually use about two tablespoons of it, and that might mild it down a little bit. Um, you can find it in most grocery stores in the, um, in the Indian or Thai aisle. So I've added the red curry paste in, and uh, we've mixed it really well so that it's combined and there are no chunks apparent. And we are going to add our protein into the mix and bring it to a boil for a minute. And then we will let it simmer with the lid on it. So now it's done simmering. It's been sitting for a little bit, and uh, I think we're ready to serve. You can have it with rice or pita or you can have it on its own and it will be very delicious. Hope you have enjoyed this recipe and until next time keep on cooking. Whew, what a Monday and am I hungry. Ooh, curry. Mmm. What a Tuesday and am I hungry. Ooh, curry. Wednesday and am I hungry? Ooh, curry. Mmm. Ooh, what a Thursday and am I hungry? Ooh, curry. Mmm. What a Friday and am I hungry? Mmm, curry. Mmm.